Hi everybody, this is Robert here, and I had a question a few weeks ago about stairs. And I'm in the architect of temple, and someone wanted to do a rectangular stair to a spiral stair. I think it was named Khan. Well, anyway, this is how you want to do that. You need two levels, level one and level two. Now I'm gonna go on a soft elevation. There's our two levels, and let's make this. I'm gonna make this eight feet U.S. standard here. And then I want to add another level for that spiral stair. So I go into my architecture datum, and this will be another eight feet right there. Okay, now we have that there. Just, now we want to. We got our three levels, so let's go down to level one. This is where the rectangular stair is going to be. Uh, but really to do a stairs, it's always good to have a floor. So let's create a floor. An architectural floor, and let's just make this a 20 by 20, or it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, 20. rough this out. That's good, 21 by 2. And then we want to Click the green check mark. So there's our floor. Now let's go look in our south elevation. And there's our floor at eight feet. So now let's just grab this floor and copy it up. So we can just do a copy and paste to select the levels. I want to just go to level two. We could go to three. But let's just go to level two for now and hit OK. So now there's our levels. So let's go back to level one. Now let's do our rectangular stair. So we go in the architecture tab on the stairs. And then you'll place a point here. And then you'll see the number of rises that will get you up to the top level. And it's 14, but let's go to 7. And then let's do a landing right about here and do our other 7. So we should be on our second level now, OK? So let's hit the check mark, and there's up. So now let's go and look at level two. Now we're in level two here, and I want to do fine view, and I want to go into my wireframe. So there's our stairs, so let's cut a shaft in here. Uh, may want to make that a little well. Uh, we'll, we'll move some stuff around. Let's just make a shaft here. And let's just go from here to about here. I'm just roughing this out. And then I'll click the check mark, and there we have our shaft. Now I want to adjust this floor right here, so I'm going to edit this boundary because this is where our spiral is going to come because this is up. So let's hit finish. And let's go look at our south elevation view. And so there's our stair, our, ver our rectangular stair and landing. And here's our shaft. Now let's go to the second level. Now to do the vertical stair, you just go in the uh, rectangular stair. Uh, you just go into your uh, architecture stairs. And then we want to select the a thick spiral you want it. And so we can just take our spiral and just do it like that. You can just get it in there any way you can. I would make it, we want to go, well, see it's giving us the 14 rises because that's where the next level is and it's going to go straight up. So let's just place it in here like this. And then let's move this out and let's finish it. Wow, taking a while. Okay, now here's our up. So let's just align this side, this edge. Align this to this. And then let's move this over. Let's just, we can just grab this guy and shift it down here with the space, with the arrow keys. And let's go look at this in our 3D view. 
So there you go. That's how you do that. So um, I hope this is what you were after. Let's go on my south elevation. Yeah. And let's get fine view here. Just make it shaded. So that's how you do that um, in a 3D view. Let's go to fine and shade it. So let's see what we got here. Uh-oh. See, now that's we got a problem here. We're not in the right spot. So let's go back to our level two. So this would be up. So this should go here. So let's move this out. And we want to line up with down. So let's align this one here to there. And let's move this up. See, once you get the heights in, it's pretty straightforward about you can shift them around and everything. Now, I don't know. That looks funny to me. There you go. So that's how you do that. You're going from a rectangular step up to a spiral. That's interesting. Yeah, but that's how you do that. I mean, if anybody's got a better way, uh, let me know. Let me see. Isolate this category. Let me hide this category. And there you just have the stair. Now, for this type of stair, I would want to do something else for the railing. So let's just go and change the railing and the edit type. Let's make this a, we can just do the pull down here. That's this pipe guy rail. Let's do this one as well. What that was, and then we'll do these as well. We'll do a pipe here. So there you go. There goes your rectangular scare to your um, circular. So hey guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps. If anybody have a better way of doing this, be bored and happy to show me. I'm going to bring back the floors. And let's see how that looks now. Yeah, there you go. Now you can do something with these stringers here. You can adjust these, play with them. But that's pretty much how I would do that. I'm not sure if that's right, but yeah, that's it. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. And, um, Meet me again for more rivet training. If you have any questions, feel free. This was a question I had about a week ago. A gentleman asked, Mr. Khan asked me, how do we do this? This is how I would do it. Um, my category. Yeah, that's how I would do the stair with the rectangular and then go to spiral. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, and everybody be safe.